Mina, Kung Kung Wah, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but from where I did the huge Love Plus recording, there's like this little weird thing in my head. I don't, actually, the background. There you go. Oh, yeah, there it's so visible. That has nothing to do with the Bible. Let's go. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verses 5, 6, and 7. But you shall seek the place where the Lord your God chooses out of all your tribes to put his name for his dwelling place, and there you shall go. There you shall take your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the heave offerings of your hand, your vowed offerings, your freewill offerings, and the firstborn of your herds and flocks. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all to which you have put your hand, you and your households, in which the Lord your God has blessed you. And my point here is kind of an interesting one. It doesn't directly relate to that passage. But I would simply like to say that in New Testament times, with Jesus as my Messiah, my Lord, my Savior, and my God, I don't have to worry about going anywhere to a temple or a tabernacle or any such place because I am now the temple of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, check it out. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit now. God lives in us. We don't have to go anywhere. We have direct access to him, for we are the temple that he indwells now. And when it talks about all the heave offerings, the burnt offerings, the tithes, the sacrifices, all of those things, whenever we offer up prayers and praise and worship to him, those are the offerings that are accepted now. We don't have to worry about the blood of bulls and goats. There's been one offering Jesus Christ. And so, because of his perfect sacrifice, now the worship that we offer to him and the repentance that we offer to him when we're in sin, those are the acceptable sacrifices. We don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to do anything. He's done it all. That's why some people tend to call Christianity more of a relationship than a religion because there's not a whole lot of work left for us to do. Jesus kind of took care of that for us. Our God created us, and then he redeemed us. So we're like doubly owned by him if we will submit to him and obey him and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. That is some good news right there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you guys. God bless.